Hi, my name is Albion Butters, and I hold a PhD in the history of religion with a focus in Tibetan Buddhism. Uh, I received it from Columbia University, working with Professor Bob Thurman uh, on Longchenpa's doxography, the Drup does it. Since then, I've worked in Finland, uh, teaching Buddhism at the University of Turku. So in my role as editor for Kensei Vision Project, I work with translators um, from the beginning, helping them get their translations all the way into the review process and integrating those comments and, and changes into a draft that then I edit, which then gets approved and then goes to copy editing. And then, of course, uh, I have a final look at the finished product. So in that context, knowing Tibetan is very important because each of these texts, um, they demand a level of very, very close attention. Uh, they differ in terms of both the syntax and the content, the style, the tone, all of these things. And so looking at the original language is, is really important to try to, well, to understand the decisions that the translator has made and also try to keep some sense of consistency across the translations. So I would say that the most challenging aspect of the project has really been the initial phase of coming to agreement on what style we're going to use, which is may sound like an easy thing on one level, you choose a style, but in practice there are so many fine points, so many details that we need to really come to agreement on as editors. And well, we're a rather picky lot, probably by, by nature, but we've really done it. We've achieved consensus and come to the style now, and so that's really satisfying. This is just such a blessing and privilege and, and joy to be part of this. For this project, in terms of the things that have, I think, brought me to this place and informed who I am and my ability to work, with these texts. One of the most important things is the teachings that I've received from the precious teachers I've had. Um, that comes in the form of the blessings, really, to work with these texts, but also the, the teachings on the view. One of the things that I enjoy most about this project is the mystery and the surprise of not knowing what text is coming next. Of all of the, the, the texts that, that I've been working on so far, um, I would have to say that my favorite so far has is the first one. It's a sadhana on the praise to Manjushri. As a scholar, it's so important to focus on Manjushri and to be reminded of the need to, to clarify all of the obscurations that, you know, that, that can come in. So parting the clouds of unknowing with the clouds of offerings, right? So, yeah.